Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed workout one. This is workout two. Same warm up as workout one as normal. Just gonna get the wrist moving. And then we're gonna go into a little bit more play handstandy stuff that we're gonna do just after this warm up. So we'll just go through the warm up again. Starting on hands and knees, rocking back and forth. Really trying to press the heel of the hand into the floor. As you rock forwards and come back. Rock forwards and come back. So 10 of these, rocking forwards. Feeling that stretch on the back of the wrists each time and trying to stay as rounded as possible through your upper back. So you're really pushing the floor away the whole time. Lovely stuff. And then from there just start peeling your wrists around, peeling your hands around. Just pull them around. Spreading your fingers as far apart as you can until your fingers face your knees and then again we're just going to start sitting back driving the heel of hand into the floor sitting back heel of hand into the floor sitting back heel of hand into the floor Really try and stay as rounded as we can through our upper back still. Siri, be quiet. Nice work guys, couple more. Again, just take your time with these. You know, if you want to spend a little bit longer, that's completely fine. This guy is annoying me. If you want to spend a little bit longer, that's completely fine. And then we're just doing 10 of those. Again, we're just going to peel our hands back around until they face forwards. And then when they're facing forwards, we're going to go through a few humps and dumps. So just hump right up, squeeze abs and glutes, slowly come down, head right back. Think about trying to generate as much range as you possibly can in each position. Use the muscles on the front of your body to squeeze and the muscles on the back of your body to squeeze in that bottom position. Being really deliberate, generating as much range as we can. in the floor away as you come down head right back imagine a piece of strings pulling your belly button down to the floor breathe out as you hump up squeeze your abs squeeze your glutes and just like about 10 reps but if you want to do a few more you are very very welcome to if you want to make your humps and dumps a little bit more interesting in the top position you Try and bring your shoulder to your hip, which just sort of activates your obliques a little bit. You can go in a little bit of a circle. This feels quite nice. Nothing's right, nothing's wrong really. We're just trying to get the spine moving, loaded into our trice, loaded into our back of the arms. Elbows getting nice and warm, shoulders getting nice and warm. So we're just moving. If you want to spend longer, that's completely fine. But now we are going to go into the strength element of this week's workout. All right, guys. So part one of session two this week is going to be a little bit of play and a little bit of sort of like strength facing the wall, hand standing. So we're going to do 30 seconds against the wall, just like before though. If 30 seconds is a little bit too hard, come down whenever you need to. You can follow along with me, or you can just do three sets that are quite hard facing the wall. 
We're going to do about 30 seconds against the wall, going to come down, 15 seconds rest, and then we're going to take one step in each direction from A, doing a side bit. So we're going to go left, and we're going to go right. And we're going to run that for 30 seconds. So one step left, one step right. If you've got more room and you can do three steps in one go, that's wonderful. Um, for the sake of me staying in camera, I'm just going to go one step each side the same amount of space that I'd have if I was inside anyway. So 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. If you need to stop at any point, come down earlier from the wall, no problem. Again, against the wall, we're mimicking those same nice positions. So press the floor away, squeeze abs, squeeze glutes. If you're finding that your chest is coming into the wall and the, sort of like your chest or your boobs are touching the wall, then we know we've lost a little bit of tension here. So we need to compress in our abs again and think about trying to create a little bit of space to the wall. Doesn't matter how close we go, obviously the closer you go the harder it will be. Just go in a level that you can repeat. So, starting in 10 seconds, we'll start walking up the wall in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, up you get. Just go as close as you can control, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your abs. And come on down. I've not got much space, I've got a cartwheel in and out. You can walk in, you can walk up, up to you. All right, so starting our side flow in three, two, one. Just step in one way. If you've got space, you can keep going. If not, just step back. Again with these, we're looking for a clear distinction between weight from our feet, weight through our hands. Weight from feet, weight through hands. Every time we go back to our feet, let me push through our hands, back to your feet, push, through your hands. Okay, and now we're gonna take a full recovery. So 30 seconds rest, 40 seconds rest. My timer goes 30 on, 15 off, so I'm gonna let it beat for 15, and then press back and go again. The timer is a bit annoying. But if you wanna pause the video, take a little bit longer, because you wanna keep that quality, Please do. You ready? Starting in five, four, another three, faceable handstand. Two, one. So squeeze glutes, squeeze abs. Press the floor away. Try and keep those elbows fully extended. And when you're ready, go into those side flows again. So weight through your feet and weight through your hands. Really push the floor, weight through your feet. Weight through hands, weight through feet. Just flow in nice and steadily. Don't rush these, just take your time. They can get quite quaddy when you're doing a lot. Just really high quality every time. So same thing, one more time. I'm gonna let my timer beep and then go again. But if you'd like to take a little bit longer, again, you are most welcome. Pause the video. One more round. Five, four, three, two, one. Up you get.
Don't forget to squeeze your glutes. That's got a bad example then from me. It's getting a bit lazy. Three, two. And side flow starting in five, four, three, two, one. So wait for your feet. Try and make sure your hand goes one in the middle of your legs, one outside your leg. So that you're, if I'm going to the left, my left hand goes directly beneath, sorry, between my hands. So my left foot between my hands, and my right foot's gonna land between those hands when I land that way. If I'm going to the right, right foot between hands, jump, left foot lands in that line. Right foot lands, left foot lands. Whew. They get hard. Excellent work you guys. So just three rounds of that. If you want to do a little bit more, you're welcome to. But somewhere in that sort of region, you know, like you did a minute and a half against the wall, probably a total of 15 to 30 seconds on your hands with the flows. That's lots of work, that's plenty. Gonna go and play one to five next. So go and do that, have a bit of fun with that. And if you want to do a little bit more, you can, but just consistent practice. Try and run this session another two times and then you'll be all good. All right, excellent work guys. So we're gonna move into the one to five game again. And again, if you wanna take a bit more time playing this or playing with the bits before, you are very welcome to. But today, since you've already seen what the game is, I'm actually just gonna play it with you. Um, you can, I'm gonna set a timer for five minutes and we're just gonna play. So I'm gonna give you some tips as I'm going through my kickups, but I'm just gonna play one, adding one second each time we complete a rep, going back to one each time we fail a rep. So I'm just gonna put a timer on for five minutes and we're just gonna play for five minutes, seeing how many, um, how high we can get. So, there's your timer. Starting in one second. Oh, got that one wrong. So back to one second. And with this, don't feel like, because you, you're playing on your own, don't feel like you've got to keep rushing through. Take your time with it. Imagine that you're playing with someone else and you're gonna give them their go before you have your go, go again. If you are playing with somebody else, great, they can just go. Um, but you know, there we go, that's completely fine. So another one second one. One and down. Try, if you can, to get an actual balance for the second. So we're looking to just get an idea of what it feels like on our hands. So we're in for two. And again, don't worry too much about joining your legs up. If you get a bit of balance with your legs apart, that's great. It actually makes it a little bit easier to balance if your legs are apart. So when I'm going to kick in, I'm going to kick, keep my legs apart. One, two. If you want to go to here, one, two, that's great. But don't worry about keeping your legs apart because it just gives you a bit more time on your hands. If you think about it, when you kick up into a handstand, um, if your legs are apart, if it gives you an extra half a second, one second, maybe even two seconds each time you go into it, or every other time that you go into it, over the course of five minutes, that might be an extra 10 to 20 seconds that you're actually holding that handstand for, which is loads of time. Um, rather than always kicking up and trying to join those legs together, it just sends you forward. It creates too much momentum when you're not already balanced. So in for three, I'm gonna kick up. Keep my legs apart until I'm balanced. There I am, one, two, Three. So just taking your time, not worrying about doing loads of reps, just really trying to find the quality. We've done all the sort of like kick ups where we're trying to get our heart rate up. This isn't about getting your heart rate anywhere. It's not even about trying to build any muscle or anything like that. We're just looking to practice what it feels like to kick up under a little bit of pressure really. So four seconds. Obviously each one gets a little bit harder, so a little more intense. Again, legs apart until I'm balanced. And then when I'm there, one, two, three, four. 
So when you're first starting, you can count with your legs apart. That's completely fine. Just make sure we're under a little bit of control. And then as you get better and better, you can think about only counting when your legs are together. That's what I'm doing today, but by no means do you need to do that straight away. You can definitely count with your legs split. That's completely fine. As I said before, I like to keep my legs split until I'm balanced because I've got so much more room for error then. I've got loads more bits to play with. Obviously didn't make it, back to one. But with your legs apart, you've got loads more to play with rather than keeping your legs together. A straight line is a really hard position to hold. So back to one. One, oh. Missed that one too. Back to one again. But again, just make sure you take your time. So those two are probably did a bit too quickly. Just take your time with it. So back to one. One. And really think about pushing the floor away. So we're going back into that position that we're in. Join those humps and dumps or our gymnastics plank. We're pressing the floor away, trying to push our shoulder blades as far apart as possible. Same thing when we're upside down. Really push the floor away. Push your shoulder blades apart. So two seconds. Get that. Legs apart. One, two, and down. Just 40 seconds left. Again, if you want to go a little bit longer, you are so welcome. In for three. One. I better just do a five before the timer goes out. So 20 seconds. One, two, three, four. Leaves just about enough time to do a five. 10 seconds left. High pressure. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. And that is five minutes. Very good stuff. You turn this timer off. So, excellent stuff. Five minutes of the handstand, one to five game. If you want to play longer, please go ahead. But that is the lot for week four, session two. Thank you very much.